Yevamot, Perek Chet, Mishnah Chet, eighth Mishnah in the eighth chapter of Yevamot. Okay, we're continuing the theme of Tetzei Mize Umize, that if a woman married under false pretenses that she had thought she had gotten divorced, or she thought she, you know, she thought she could be married, and, and she then remarried a second person, then she has to, and it turns out that her understanding was, was incorrect, then we have this idea of Tetzei Mize Umize. She has to divorce the second husband and also the first husband. Says the Mishnah, Katav Sofer get shover leisha. So what happens is, a husband and wife decide they're going to get divorced. So the so the the husband obviously orders him to write a get. He says, write a get for my wife, sign it, etc., etc. Take care of it. I mean, the the Sofer, especially at their times, he was a lawyer. People married are very often were, if not illiterate, they didn't know how to write. It's very different. And the Sofer wrote the contract, and then people said, oh, that's what it says. Fine. And he gave the, and he wrote a shover leisha. The shover is a receipt. That the woman, she is expecting to receive her payment for the ketubah. After they get divorced, the husband owes her the money in the ketubah. And so when she, when she gets that money, she gives the husband a shover. She gives him a receipt in order to prove that she can't come and claim later on. She can't come and claim later on that, uh, that, uh, that, hey, you didn't pay me the money. You owe me the money for the ketubah. So she gets a piece of paper. And I don't know what it is. Here's the shover. Great. Vita'a. The sofer made a mistake. Venatan get leisha v'shover leish. And she gave the get to the woman, and she gave a shover to the husband. I mean, he's just like, oh, yeah, you take this, you take this. He wasn't paying attention to a very busy day. You know, have, things happen all the time like that. One gets the sense that this, this is a case that actually happened, that, that they had to deal with in the times of Tanaim. And they came in, and they said, oh, here, give, you know, give her the get. And he gives her the piece of paper, and give him the shover. He gives her the piece of paper. Great. Great. And, and so she goes and remarries, and he goes and does whatever he does. And then what do you know? Later on, it becomes clear that, uh, that they had made a mistake. The husband never gave the get to his wife. The sofer gave it to her, and then she gives it back to him, but he never gave it as a get. He has to, the Torah says, he has to give a get. So the Mishnah says, Tetzei mizeh mizeh. Then she went and remarried. She has to, it's, it's a terrible thing, but she has to now divorced the second husband because she married him essentially while she was already married to the first husband. And she has to also, she can't be married to the first husband. And all the things that we learned, all of the, of the sanctions upon her, the, the child born in the second marriage is a mom's there and she loses Ketubah from this and this. All of the things that we said, uh, uh, all these sanctions apply to her in this case. Okay? Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Eliezer says, Im l'alter yatsa in no, If they discover right away then it's not an isha, then it, then it's not, then it's not a get. But, im l'achar zman yatsa, harez they get. If, after time, after a, a lot of time, meaning if it happened subsequently, I don't know what l'achar zman is according to him, but nonetheless, it is a get. Why? This is a fascinating statement. Lo kol heimenu mina rishon la'abed zchuto shalasheni. Lo kol heimenu mina rishon means we don't believe the first one to such a degree, to such a degree, in order to uh, remove the rights of, and it's not the, it's it isn't in the, the the ability of the first one to lose the rights of the second husband. I mean, she had a first husband, and now she's married to a second husband. The first husband now they're saying, oh, I didn't give the get, etc., etc. Okay, so w- what does it mean? We don't believe him. Why? The Amrina, because Rabbi Lezer says, they're trying to make some kind of deal. What happened? She, they, she got remarried, and he, now he's having by, like, getter's remorse. He actually, we, Rabbi Lezer said, no, he gave her the get. She gave him the shofar. But now they're realizing life is not as good as they had it once before, and now they're trying to, they're trying to remarry each other. So what she's going to do, she's going to say, oh, I wasn't married, turns out, the divorce, what can you do? Sorry for a second husband, we weren't really married. So, no. Local emenomina rishon, sorry. Nonetheless, if after time, meaning what, two years later, she disco- they discover, what do you know? We exchanged documents improperly. Rabbi Lezer says, no, we don't believe them. They're doing what's called a kinunya, as we said. A kinunya, they're trying to make a, make a, a kinunya. How do you translate kinunya? Let me see if I can find it. Look it up in the Jastro. Very, very useful, wonderful site. Kinunya. I don't know, I guess it's Greek. Partnership. Okay. Uh, oops. It's a, oh, I lost it. Here we are. Oops. One second. It's a conspiracy to defraud and divide the profits. That's what it's a conspiracy. So we're afraid of a conspiracy between the, between the husband and wife. Jastro is the best. Yeah, I mean, you can always look things up, but the Jastro is terrific, and it's uh, always worth to have access to that site. So we're afraid of conspiracy, so therefore we don't believe them. 
Next case. Katav the garish that ishto benimlach. A guy writes a, a, a get to divorce his wife, and then he changes his mind. Beit Shammai Amrim. So he writes again, he signs it, but never gives it to her. Beit Shammai is fascinating. Beit Shammai Amrim psalam inakuhuna. Just the fact that he thought, I'm not entirely sure what Beit Shammai's havamina is. Beit Shammai says, okay, for kuhuna we're very machmir, the Bakati says, and she's, she's like a grusha, okay, and even if the Baal dies, she still can't marry a Kohen. Beit Hillel Amrim, Beit Hillel says, uh, no, not even that. Even if he wrote it, forget it. If he says, listen, I'm giving you this get on the condition that the you know, Washington Redskins beat the Dallas Cowboys on Friday night, on whatever, on, on Monday Night Football, and the Redskins lose, he, but he gave her the get. He didn't make her pasu from a kahuna unless he, she actually was divorced. Bechame is really fascinating. That The, the strictness, it, it speaks to the strictness that, that Bechame felt vis-a-vis the Kedusha, the sanctity of the Kohen. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning memory, my father, Harab, Simcha, and Yitzchak, Kalman. Have a good day.